Today we'll be taking a look at one of the effects from The Witcher, more specifically the one where he drinks his potion to enhance his abilities. And to shoot this effect, we're going outside. We forgot Jordi, Timo. Let's go back. <laughs> Let's take this thing with us. Jordi! Yeah? It's time! Yeah! I think he's slowly turning into The Witcher. Test, 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 come back binnen. Ik kom binnen. Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? I've missed you so much. You know, all the things have been going on here at Cinecom. Come check it out. We got a new server. How cool is this? It's making ton of noise, but we can edit blazing fast now because of this bad boy. The transition. This used to be a Santa Claus wig, but now it's the Witcher wig. <laughs> Has anyone actually played The Witcher 3? Honestly, I'm kind of like stuck with it in the beginning. I think that I'm just sucking instead of stucking. <laughs> Let me know, guys. Did you enjoy The Witcher, the video game? Let me know in the comments. I am Geralt. No, wait. I am... <laughs> By the way, Janik is on vacation. He's snowboarding. Probably breaking his neck. Echt waar, jong. Ik zit vast. Ik krijg deze plank achteruit gehaald. Laat staan, ik straks die molen moet gaan kapot maken. It's very amusing. Shooting this effect is quite easy. You can go handheld or just like we did, we chose for a tripod shot. Since we'll be working with the face tracking, you want to minimize the motion blur. So the tripod is your best friend. What? Did we just become best friends? Yup! Is The Witcher a bit too dark and scary for you? Well, in one of our previous videos, we also used face tracking where we had a lot of prettier and less scary motion graphic assets. And these we got from Storyblocks, the sponsor for today's video. In their ever-growing community-driven library, with more than 1 million royalty-free high-quality stock assets, you can find a ton of motion graphic assets that you can place on almost every part of your body. But you can also find a lot of assets to create the atmosphere for your Witcher scene, such as fog, dust, smoke, and so much more. You can find these stock assets in HD and 4K resolution, various After Effects templates which will save you a lot of time, epic music and sound effects to make your visual effects more realistic and so much more. And to top that off you can download an endless amount of assets from their library with the unlimited all access plan. Or you can check out their other affordable plans, there is one for every need. If you want to know more about Storyblocks and how to start downloading right away, click the first link in the description down below or go straight to Storyblocks this is the new set. We're out of budget. We're out of Janik. We're out of time. I have to leave in an hour. Too much, guys. I've, I've taken too much on my plate. Move a bit, Timo. Yep, yep. Look, it's what the witchers drink. Espresso. All right, now I'm gonna go back inside because there's no time. I need to finish Premier Basics, our second channel. <clears throat> With your shot ready, it's time to fire up After Effects. First of all, let's drag our clip into the timeline. Right click here and create a new solid layer. On this layer, we'll be adding the advanced lightning effect. With this effect, we'll be creating those black veins you can see around his eyes. The first thing we'll change is setting the glow opacity to 0%. Then it's time to play around with the settings of this effect until you get a vein structure that you like. The most important settings here are the position of the origin and direction to generate different patterns. The core radius, forking and fork variation. Before we position the veins, look for the point in your clip where the vein should start appearing. Then use the scale and position to position the part of the lightning effect under the eye. And now comes the biggest benefit of using this effect. If you keyframe the DK and core drain properties, you can animate the veins in randomly. Before we continue, let's shorten the length of the solid layer just before the keyframes. Make a duplicate of this layer, hide the other solid layer and start changing the position and settings of the advanced lighting effect. So you can create veins for the top side of the eye. Do exactly the same for the side of the eye as well and also for the other eye. This should result in six different layers. And don't worry that it looks like a huge mess, we'll be taking care of that right now. We sadly can't mask on top of these layers, so pre-comp all of the six layers separately. And on these pre-comps we can mask the veins that should be visible. And to finish this up, let's pre-comp all of them together. Next up we need to track the veins on the talent's face. A simple position tracking won't look good enough since the skin moves and stretches. So that's why I'll be using Lockdown 2, a paid plugin. But it does such a good job at tracking warping surfaces. You can always download the free trial version to test it out. In the past we showed you a workaround on how to do this without plugins in After Effects. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link to that in the description 
description down below. Now go to the point where the face tracking should start and let's split the talents clip in two. Look for the lockdown effect in the effects library and drag it on top of the second part of the clip. In the effect controls panel, click on pop out. This will open up a new window. While holding the control button, we can draw a mask around the face that we want to track. Then you can click the track all button. Once the tracking process is done, close the window and in the effect controls panel, you can hit lockdown. This will create two new layers, but the one we're interested in is the stabilized pre-comp. Before we open up the pre-comp, let's first grab our black veins layer with control X. Head into the pre-comp and here we can paste the layer again. Let's also delete the checkerboard layer since we don't need it. And if you now go back to the original composition, you can see that the veins are following the face perfectly. Our veins are still white as you can see, so to change those head back in the stabilized pre-comp layer. Look for the fill effect and place it on the black veins layer. And here we can change the color to black. To make it more realistic, let's make a copy of our black veins layer and call it red veins. Offset it a few frames and like the name of the layer says, change the black to a dark red. Let's also thicken the veins by adding a simple choker effect and setting it to minus 2. And we follow it up with a Gaussian blur that we set to 25. To blend both vein layers into the skin, you can simply play around with the opacity settings. I also use the fractal noise map, which I use as a luma mat for both veins to have some overall variation in opacity. And that's the biggest part done. Now we only have a few small things left, which I'll quickly break down for you. To create the reddish color around his eyes, you can create two red shapes placed on top of the talent's eye in the stabilized composition. Feather it out with a Gaussian blur and animate the opacity from zero to something like 10. And since this is in the stabilized composition, we don't need to do any tracking anymore. Another detail is that the Witcher turns pale. This I simply did by singling out the face and neck of our talent and animating the set duration so that the talent turns pale. And now the last part, the black eyes. Again, very easy to do. I singled out the eyes of the talent and used a fill effect to turn them black. Of course, this doesn't look realistic enough since we're missing the highlights in our eyes. So again, single out the highlights of the eyes and put them on top of the black eyes. There we go, that's how fast and easy you can create this effect. I'm Geralt's brother. Herald. I fight no monsters, I fight demons. And right now, I need a coffee. Really bad. Alright guys, and that was it again. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. Thank you Storyblocks for the support and now go make your own Witcher movie. Now check out here the video on my left, which is another cool video. So go, check it out. Go!